Are you good? Are you eating your food, eh? And then you hear the side. Why you ain't feeding me too? Why can't I get none either? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Essence of Shea in the building. Let's get started. Today's video, I will be talking all about the things that I hate hate about my locks. Before we get anything started, you know the drill. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you're watching this in HD because it makes it look, you know, 10 times better. Like, makes my, my skin glisten. <laughs> but one that I hate about my locks is that my hair is too soft. I mean, to some people, you might look at me like, Shay, what the heck? are you talking about but my hair is too soft. who complains about their hair being too soft this one does and the reason why I complain is because it doesn't stay in twist when I first freshly twist my hair whether I do it whether my friend Casey does it or I go to a hair salon and get it done I tell no lie in about three days it's out like you can still see the parts and all kind of stuff, but the hair itself, it's still like, it's still like the twist was non-existent. Like why did it even go through all that? For what? For what? Number two is my hair, it gets dry really quickly. Like the, not the hair, but my scalp. And maybe it's because I don't drink enough water or is my diet, because I feel like I drink enough water. I think I can tweak my diet here and there, but I just feel like my scalp gets really dry really quickly. And it could be to the temperature. It could be because of the water that I use to wash my hair. It could be a bunch of situations, but I absolutely hate it. I have to moisturize my hair so often and I hate, I hate it. I hate it. Sometimes I just want my hair to just be free and I don't have to do all this extra stuff. But Unfortunately, this is what I signed up for. Number three is my biggest one, and I did a video about this a while back, I will leave a link above, is not being able to wear hats. So let me tell Olia something. My head ain't big, eh? My head is not big, but I cannot put a hat on my head. Like, I could put it on my head, but will it be comfortable? is the question. Will the hat sit on the dome comfortable without causing a headache? I don't think so. And in that video you see that I tried different hats and it even sucks more when it's winter time and I can't put a hat on my head with that brisk wind, brisk wind blowing in my head and I can't put anything like, I could put a scarf or whatnot, but then that causes lint, which is another thing. I just can't wear a hat. Number four is sitting on my locks. You guys know, once my hair reach a certain length, I'm always trimming it because I always like, whether on the train or I go in my car or I'm sitting on my bed, my hair, when it gets to that length, is too long and I either sit on it or I tug on it or when I'm laying down, I pull on it and I'm just like, give my... I give myself whiplash. Who gives their self whiplash? This one does. Number five is silly, but it, it, it affects me. And not being able to give hugs. A person will give me a hug or put their hand around my shoulder and they're like tugging on my hair or like, it's just like, I can't, I can't, I can't move my head. Like, it's not comfortable. So when they have to give me a hug or put their hand around my shoulder, I have to give them instructions. Put thy hand under the hair and then nestle. <laughs> under nestle. Number six, we all know about this, and it's when we like, huh, what the? and it's your lock. On the train once, where I was just sitting there, chilling, and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, 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 oh. It was my hair. The whole train is looking at me, watching me act stupid and freaking out over my own daggone hair. And it does that all the time, especially when my hair is curly. Lord, Lord. Number seven is not being able to wear a scarf. And this kind of goes hand in hand. Six and seven go together because wearing a scarf 
it attracts a lot of hair. I mean, a lot of lint. And then seven is all the lint that attracts to my locks. It like the lock is like a lint magnet. Anything that's out there, bugs, fur, whatever, it just like your locks is like a magnet. Like come, come lint, come to me. So especially during the winter, I cannot wear scarves. Like I wear them. Like I'm not like. I am lying when I say I cannot because I still do because it's cold outside and ain't nobody got time to be freezing and sick. So I wear a scarf, but at the end of the day, it's like it kind of messes up a little bit because lint gets into my locks, which I hate. And it's so time consuming to take that out. <sighs> God, God. Like, come on here. I'm trying to work with you, but you caused me all this trouble. But I love you so much. Duh. Number nine is waiting for my hair to dry. This is different from when I say when well, my scalp gets dry all the time. This is when I actually wash my hair. And because my hair is thick, it takes a year, a half, century, millimeters, whatever, for it to dry. Like, shorty could be 25 and by 32, then it's like half dry. Like you guys, you guys feel me. It takes forever for it to dry. You just wanna, you know, walk around and in 20 minutes, let it something dry. But it take a year and a half for the damn thing to dry. And me understand why. And that's why sometimes it I just take longer than need to wash my hair because I really am the type of person that is just lazy and I just don't have the patience to sit there and have my pillowcase wet, my shirt wet, my pants dripping, go in my car, everything is dripping because my hair is soaking wet or it's windy time and I wash my hair and my hair refuses to dry so thou goes outside and gets sicketh because thou hair refuses to dry number 10 and the last one we all can relate to is getting food in thy hair you drinking your soup your little chicken and so and so or you have your oxen and rice and so and so you know and you happy or you have your potato um potato salad and stewed turkey and you're just chilling and you good and you eating your food eh and then your hair decide why you ain't feeding me too why can't i get none either and decide to dip his little self inside of my food. And then I have crumbs and so in my locks. Like I don't understand, like stay in your place, stay back there. Why you have to be up here? It's my time, you know? Majority of the time is about you. Why can't I just have my food for myself? It's my question. Come on. Those are my 10 top 10 reasons why I hate my locks, but don't be fooled. This is the best decision I've ever made in my life. 14 years strong. Woo -hoo! And <laughs> still going. Oh, by the way, I am loving my cut. I just need to shave this. This is another lazy thing. This is not good for a lazy person. Like I have to, I have to keep on top of that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If I left anything out as to what we as a collective hate about our locks, leave comments below. If you want to comment on anything that I said, leave comments below as well. If you haven't already, I have a video of how I created this dope um, bang and a bun hairstyle. is super easy, super quick. Don't stress yourself. Um, I'll leave a link up above or down below. I love you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Be nice. Don't troll. Subscribe. That little red button. <laughs> Do it. And I will see you guys next time. See you later, Tiger Lilies. Toodles. Stick to the promise, man. You made me.